Hey guys, it's Sadik here, back in the video, and today I will show you guys how to make a portal with level requirements to access, or any requirement at all. You could just put whatever you want. So let's get right into it. So what you want to do first is you want to, of course, go to workspace, add a part, and you can call this uh, teleporter. And there's going to be two methods to do this. Well, more there's more than two, but I'm going to show two methods. One is on touch, and one is on when you click it. So if you click a if you click a button on the Surface GUI, it will teleport you to the part that's in the script. Or you could set coordinates and all that stuff of the part. So we're gonna start off with the button one. So once you add the teleporter part, you want to go to starter GUI, then you want to add a Surface GUI. So once you have the Surface GUI added, you want to add a frame to it. And then you want to call the frame, just, it doesn't have to have a name, so I'm just not going to name it actually. Then you can add buttons to it and a title. So I'm going to add a button, I'm going to call this button, uh, fight. And then we're going to have, let's say, um, Well, you gotta add a script, local script to it first, but and then you want to add a title to the frame if you want text label. And then you're gonna have local script. Change this to whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this fight. Then inside the fight script. So if you wanna pick a level, so local fight equals script dot parent. Then you're going to have local player equals game get service players dot local player. And then you're going to have local function teleport player dot character set primary part C frame C frame dot new and this is where the coordinates are going to be so you're going to have numbers in here or whatever i'm going to keep that as a placeholder i'm going to show you guys how to get your coordinates and stuff after i get done typing the rest of the script so script dot parent dot activated connect function and then you want if player dot stats dot level dot value greater than equal to one then so what this does uh, is if your level is greater than or equal to one it activates the teleport uh, the teleport function so you could change this to cache if your cache is greater than 100 you teleport you can put name it whatever as long as what uh, your leader stat says you have to have a leader stat for it there will be leader stats and all that other stuff necessary for this to happen inside the model. You could just change the names and stuff. So yeah. So if your level is greater than, I'm gonna say two, I'm gonna get to level two in the video inside the test place, and then I will um, show it to you. So after that, we want to type teleport there with the brackets. There we go. And this should teleport you to the location and yeah, where's the part at though? <laughs> part, scale, make it bigger and skinnier, a little bit wider, taller. So the frame, you wanna go to surface GUI, then you wanna adorn it. So that's gonna be near the top, adorn it. Click on the, not oh, missed, click on the part and you have teleporter so on this side you'll see the frame which uh, you could just do whatever I'm just gonna make it I think it's I'm gonna do 400 by 400 it should be big enough yeah and then we're gonna have fight which you can't really select them I don't think so you have to actually change the sizes in here which kind of sucks but it's whatever position 80 and then change this to Ah, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna keep it there. Frame. 
we're gonna have change the name of this instead of button it's gonna be called uh, I guess just fight I can't see it where is it where are you at It's painful. I'm trying to find it. Uh, it doesn't show. Why is it not showing? Fight. Select it. Where is it? It's not there. What about the text label? I can move the text label. Do it. About. Uh, sure. 80, I guess. And then we're going to call it uh, Teleporter. For some reason, this is not appearing, which probably means um, you don't really need to be in there. Okay, if it's not going to show, I'm just going to copy the script, delete this, and keep the frame. I'm going to add another text button. I'm going to call it Fight, and then add it back in. Now it should be there. You can move this, so I'm going to put it at uh, 80, uh, 120, I guess. And I'm going to call it. The battery is currently low. Then we're going to call it um, fight. So once you've done this, it all should work. After, but before, before you do that, we're going to add a part and we're going to call this uh, location. And then you're going to take the part, move it wherever you want, and I'm going to make it to where you can't collide with it. So can't collide, no. Can touch, no. And then we're going to make it, let's say, transparent. And then we're gonna get the location. So the position, you copy that. Then you want to go to teleport, and you want to go into the script actually. So um, the fight script. You want to go in here, paste the location position into here. And what this should do is when you click play, then you go to the teleporter. You click fight, and it doesn't teleport me. Hold up. Location, you can touch. Teleporter. Teleporter. Okay, what is. So it teleports me to. Oh, I'm just stupid. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, when you do that, you have to level up because I set it to level two. Now, once I get to level two, there you go. Now, if I click the fight button, it'll teleport me to the location. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And the mod will be down in the description below. And see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, like a light switch. <laughs>